I'm going to show you how to make a half lap dovetail. A half lap dovetail is a dovetail that has um, the front face of a drawer is usually where we use it, where you don't see the dovetail going all the way through like you might on a common dovetail where the, the tails and the pins go all the way through to the outside faces. In this case, the side piece, the drawer side usually, is um, dovetailed, but the front has a lip along the front edge that prevents you from seeing it when the drawer is, the drawer is closed. So what I'm going to do here, I've got a 20 millimeter front piece, a 15 millimeter side piece. That means that I can use my maxim, which is to have the length of the dovetails, three quarters of the length of the thickness of the front piece. So in this case, I've got 15 mil, 15 mil for my side piece, 20 mil for my front piece. So the length of my dovetails are going to be 15 millimeters. So what I'm first of all going to do is take my knife and make a measurement here, 15 mil from this very front edge of my drawer. Now I have made sure that my drawer side is absolutely dead square. So when I put my square on here, this direction and this direction, I'm dead square. Very important to work accurately when you're making this type of joint. And I'm going to pull my line here. This is a rebate. I'm going to form a rebate on here and I'll show you why in a minute. But this is a no nonsense method for making dovetails. I'm going to go all the way onto this front edge, on this top edge here, and then onto this edge here. Two. Because I'm going to put a rebate on here, and how I'm going to do that is take my rule. I only want this rebate to be about one and a half mil. So I set my steel rule on here, and then I can set my depth of my router here to the surface here. What I'm going to do now is make a rebate. With your chisel, just chisel into this face here to form a rebate. Now you've got to know what depth you're going to go down to. And the depth we're going to go down is governed by the plane we just set here. So I'm going to take, let me see if I turn this so you can see. I'm using the cutter on here to give me a line to work to here. So this is actually becoming a marking gauge, if you like. So I'm cutting a line into the end grain, like that. Going on to the edge of my draw side, which it would be right into here. So I'm just using the corner of my plane to give me a cut line. <clears throat> so I keep the, the plane sole registered against the surface of my wood. That gives me a, a depth to cut to. Going back in with my knife. Now the combined two cuts that I made with my knife are taking me down about the depth of the cut that I, or the setting of my blade. And here I'm going just, I'm going actually into my gauge line and I'm pointing my chisel upwards, I'm going onto the face here and I'm keeping the chisel pointing skywards just a hair to create a very small rebate on my piece of wood. Come in from the end here. And that should give me enough to now come in with my plane here, like this. And that gives me a very small rebate. And you'll see why in just a minute. So I'm using my router plane to guarantee the exact depth. 
We've got a very nice pristine surface here. So I've got a rebate on my piece of wood. See that? Now to set out my dovetails, I'm using a pen here, just a black pen so that you can see. I'm coming in, I'm going to go 3 eighths of an inch, which is about 10 millimeters. And then the same from this side. Then I'm finding the middle there. And then I come 3 16 on each side. And that gives me exactly the same distance as I have on each side. I use a dovetail template. Doesn't matter where the line stops at the moment. There. And now I'm going to come down onto this face from that knife wall that I created on the end and I'm going to go into but not past that pen line in between the two pen lines in the middle pin recessed and then out onto this side here. So I've got this nice crisp corner where I meet on the corners and now I'm going to cut down my dovetail rake First I need lines square across and this square across aspect has to be dead square so when I cut I'm dead square going into the joint with my saw. There are my lines, I've got my dovetails cut. These are the recesses I'm going to take away. So I need to cut down these two lines, or four lines in actuality. So take your time cutting square across, aligning the saw, your body, your arm, your eye. My recommendation is to stop about a millimetre above your line. important thing is to stay just above your line and to cut on the waist side of the line. So I have cut on the waist side of this line. So this is my waist, same here and the same here. Your cross grain cuts. Again, just a little step down to guide that saw. Take out the midsection. I'm using a 3 8 chisel here. And we're going to chop now right inside here. Gently, you don't want to move with the knife wall here, so go very gently, don't go very deeply at all. 
and go right up against the rebate wall here. In and out of the vise for safety. Make sure your bench top is clean, nothing underneath your piece. I can go heavier now as the wall gets deeper. Just pair out any fibres left in between the two points, that will make sure it's dead square across. Follow the rake with your chisel just to get the insert inside corner nice and crisp. And the shoulders you need to be just paired slightly just to take off any fuzziness. So I've got my marked edges, face mark, face edge, face mark, face edge. So this is where I align this up. You can see what I created, I think. Let me see if I can turn this so you can see. This created a very deliberate stop there that I can butt this up against, push this against that shoulder, make sure the side aligns with the front edge, bottom edge. And I can go around my dovetail here with a light pass with the knife, making sure it doesn't deviate from this point. And now I'm going to go right on the inside rake of the dovetail from the very tight inside corner on each side. This is one pin, two pins, one more. So I'm feeling for that inside corner almost as I'm trying to reach underneath. And I've got this very faint line, but it's enough for me to see. I want to bring the lines down onto this inside face of the drawer now. Let's see how I can do this. So, so there is my line. But here's the thing. We're actually going to cut down this a little bit with the tenon saw, the dovetail saw. But we're not actually going to be anywhere near the line when we cut. We're going to be maybe as much as a sixteenth of an inch, two millimeters away from it. That vertical line is just a guide for me to 
work parallel to, not necessarily up to. Watch what happens here. This is important now. I'm going to flush the inside rebate here against the outside of my, my front, my draw front here, like this. So this goes here, and I'm going to make a knife mark here. So I've got my position for my knife cut there. I'm going to go into that knife nick in between my black lines from my pen. Doesn't matter if you go past slightly, it doesn't matter if you go all the way across because it's an internal corner. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to saw down, this is my waist wood, this is my waist wood, I'm going to saw on the inside of this line, the inside of this one, of this one and this one. And I'm staying away from the line, as I said, maybe a millimeter, two millimeters. So I'm just going down the corners, really, catty corner. find I'm going to chop down right on my knife wall don't go too heavily now this inside corner is never going to be seen once it's cut because the lap over overlaps this the, the rebate overlaps it little uncertain about my grain direction but here I'm going to chop till I hear that dead side take the bulk of the middle out this take the wings out just pair down follow the rake and the black line. And we chop, we keep chop in and out of the vise, in and out of the vise. Just to get rid of the bulk of the waste. I can go a little bit more confidently now because I'm now inside, deeper inside the cut. show you a little different way just to get you inside go till you hear that dip, 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 dead sound too much there I can tell I took a little bit over ambitious
My grain is quite undulating inside this, which is always a challenge. down that wall. This is now getting nearer towards the inside corner where the saw didn't reach. We just whittle away at it here, just right down into the corner. Otherwise, you won't be able to angle your chisel in to follow the rake of the dovetail. keeping this chisel as perpendicular as I can when I chop. And now I start creeping up on the Lines on either side and at the back edge here. It looks to me as though I'm probably about four mil from my depth line now. Clean up the inside of the rake a little bit. using a half inch chisel but now I'm going to switch to a narrower chisel a quarter inch chisel and I'm going to chisel into that interior corner this will get me a little bit deeper to that part that matters Pick your weapons here. This is a, a gentle creeping up to that back line. And you have to work in the middle. See, I'm working either side of the dovetail. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to take out some of this waste wood to allow a little bit of the outer corners some place to work to here. I work either side like this. I'm away from my lines at the moment. There, I got most of that corner out. I still have my final depth line on the sides and the end to go to yet. But I'm listening the whole time because the wood is telling me where the pressure is, whether it's too much, too little. Internal corners, just creeping up on them. <sighs> Got a little bit more depth to go to. 
know if I can get a line for you to see. There's the line. There's the line. <sighs> Keep your bench top clean all the time. Internal corner with a narrower chisel. Even go down to a 1 8 chisel or a 3 16 chisel, I often do. And I am about 2 mil from my line, my depth line here. So I'm going to split that difference. So now I'm 1 mil from the line. Midsection comes out first every time. And the nice thing is you created a knife wall which we can ultimately put the chisel directly into. This feels good. So I've got a 1 8 chisel here. If you've got one, fine. If you haven't, just use a quarter inch just to get that internal corner. Now I'm, I'm going to just chop one more time, being conscious that we're very near to the outside face now. Now I'm going to go down the outside wall here. This is where I meant where I, I'm feeling now for the chisel, for the knife wall that I created when I drew around the dovetail. One. I'm feeling for that. I'm looking for the grain direction here because I've got a feeling the grain is undercutting. It may not be, but just in case it is, I'm going to come in from this face. I can see a line there. This is the nature of the type of wood I'm working with. So I'm just cutting in from this side just a little bit. Is that knife wall is definitive. I, I have to have that knife wall. And the grain sometimes does want to take you in another direction. Ah. That's great, I think that's great. <sighs> probably come back your direction a little bit here. Internal corner. And this, I'm right in this back wall now into the grain. Moving into the corner. right into the knife wall. And 
I'm definitely fighting the grain here. But I think the end result will be worth the fight. This last one I've got to feel again for this grain. So I'm right in the knife wall. This one's working fine. Which is great. Midsection. And I think that's it. Let's go ahead and just give this a little try. There's one little trick that we use in woodworking and that is, I'll show it you. I think I have a little Fine. I'm going to take this internal corner off here. I just snug up on the chisel like this and on the inside of the dovetail just take a corner off, take a corner off, take a corner off and a corner off. And then just feel how that dovetail is feeling as it goes down into the cut. and look for any areas where it might be snagging. Listen for any popping. Feels nice. Feels a little bit tight. Maybe just here. A few hairs just hanging on. And we'll try it. This one sounds a little tighter on this side. Still feels a little tight, but not too tight. And that's how we cut a half lap dovetail. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I'm going to take that last shaving off the face. And that's it.